Welcome back to Rune Factory 4. Today we got Doug and Dillis being whiners. Hence the title. And it's winter. Fuck. I don't know why Shao Pai is following me along. I think she just invited herself. So is it like winter one right now? Yeah, we're still in the first year. I mean, like the first day of winter. Yes. Okay, so the second it went, winter came, just snow. Just... Some native dragon with nothing better to do just upended a bucket of frozen water over the town. Obviously, Selfia is in Alberta. <laughs> no one fun thing about Xiaopai, her weapon is a double battle axe. Okay. <laughs> Which she only sometimes pulls out, I don't know why. She pulls that out every time I talk to someone. Like a lover's quarrel, says Pubert insensitively. <laughs> Hello. That was bad. Its follow-up line was worse. Yeah. <laughs> because you're cheap. <laughs> because if his mouth is full of cake, we don't have to hear him talking for a little bit. Eat the fuck up, Keel. <laughs> what? What's written on my cake? S T F U. Ah, oh, that's funny. It's me, Keel. It's not true. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Vishnal. I sign your checks, motherfucker. Ah, uh, finally. So this is an area that's only open in the first five days of every season. <laughs> ah, cacophonous. I think it was summer when I came here, it took me this long to remember. So, uh, so you're le leveling up, Chow- Chow- how do you pronounce that? Chow Pai. Jeez. Chumpy. Sure! Chumpy, yeah. I can't hear you over the sound of her leveling up everything. Yeah, so you're grinding her up because... Uh, yeah, this is a weird area. See, here's- here's the thing, Rune Factory 4, gender is really more of a spectrum, is the thing. Well, the person who owns this den doesn't care. Wow, that is very unprogressive, owner of the den. Boy, howdy, just you wait. So, now here's- here's my confusion. Pubert, a male, jumped down the correct hole, and yet Xiaopai, a woman, also jumped down the left hole. Nope. Well, the deal with this thing is the right hole is always- the correct hole, rather, is always the left hole. The right hole will always just have monsters down there. Basically, this person has put up signs just to find a wife. A very stereotypical wife. Oh. It's a shitty place. Now we get into the problematic aspect of JRPGs. Mm -hmm. I think at the end of this, it'll sort of be okay. In a way. Okay, man, I'm trusting you. If you are not a suitable wife for me, die. That's right, get killed by bugs, please. You're a three, I'm looking for a nine. Die in the bug hole. <laughs> Do you have pointy knees? If so, jump in the right hole. <laughs> Some people like myself are into that, sir. Well, I have a hole you can hang out then. Find a potential <laughs> mate. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's great. Uh, so, it was a raccoon slash tanuki. It's actually another boss returning from Rune Factory 3. So, to make up for that whole incredibly sexist shit, we beat the shit out of him. Ah, he will make you his bride. Nice guy. What are you doing with that knife? Please put it down. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh! This game because he turns giant, and then he starts attacking. 
That guy is jacked. I can't believe he's having a hard time finding some shallow person to share his... Oh boy, okay. That, that might might be a little advanced for the bedroom, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, the key with that is you can tell I've stunned him, so you know which one is the real one. Right. He's really not hard. Congratulations, Pubert. You slay the misogynist. That's all. I got his rare drop, which is a leaf. I know, I just spent way too much time on Reddit. And that's how we get a dungeon seed. I think I mentioned it a long time ago, you plant those and you grow your own dungeon. Oh. Well, ah. hold on, but I need to scratch this joke out. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say? What do you do with that? Grow your own dungeon? <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, yes! Well, how about that? So I kicked his ass and tore his toupee off. Wow. So now you can hold down and be and turn into a pubert statue. Beautiful. And now every day I can come back, fight him again, and there's a chance I will also get a sword flower or a shield flower. And I can use those to grow my own weapons. Um, happy birthday, Q. Happy birthday. I can't invite you over to my house, which you are currently in. For your birthday, I'm not going to tell you to shut the fuck up. Ah, so close. I will tell you twice tomorrow, though. Kiel, it's your birthday, so I'm not going to tell you to shut the fuck up, but I will wind up and deck you in the solar plexus. You little weenus. Bon anniversary! <laughs> I bet you do. You ain't seen nothing yet. With sugar, I can fly. <laughs> he says, staring at the door. You know, thinking about it, they have roughly the same job. It's just Dillis is less beholden to strangers. Dillis also isn't a spy. They have to go from one location, pick something up, and carry it somewhere else. <laughs> I mean, if you want to get reductive about it, isn't isn't that the entirety of the human experience? Yeah. Just picking up a thing and then putting it down somewhere else. I am visibly stronger than Doug. <laughs> well, this is great. I can't believe that Operation Freaky Friday has been such a resounding success. <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh. Smells the door. I think he's doing fine. <laughs> Pubert looks through the door and, like, Doug's just chained up in the pantry with a ball gag in his mouth. <laughs> oh, so he's doing well. Pretty well. He's... He's gonna get along great with Porco. He'll keep until he's ripe. Oh, disgusting. I think Dillis has the harder job because he has to deal with Porco. Yes! Wow, I mean the job's easy, but my bottom is so raw from being pinched by Porcoline. <laughs> okay, man. He says as they all leave. A spongy energy vampire of food? Well, if you eat a whole loaf, you get all carb loaded. I mean, it comes as one piece. That's what you're supposed to do with it, right? What? What the fuck is she going on about? Yes. 
Yeah, everything's fine. By the way, you have a heart murmur. Apparently. It's murmuring something like, get away from me. Good morning. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Ultra Onion! I love the Ultra Onion! Nah. I will cut it and make Ultra Tears! <laughs> Can't they see they were made for each other? This was the worst will they won't they romance of anything since I don't know. Somebody put a punchline here for me. Hey. I got nothing. What? You huh. really not sure you should call him that, Doug. <laughs> Out of the way, Granny. Yeah. It's gonna be one of those bullshit things where they get along by not getting along. Yes, that's yeah, that's their whole deal. Actually, your cataracts. I mean, I am watching him. <laughs> and aside from that dialogue, nothing changes. Let's make Botto sell stuff. Bargain goods is basically just he'll sell random weapons and what have you. Some of them pretty rare stuff, like. Stuff I don't think I can even craft yet. I don't know how they count as bargains. Uh, Cause it's Bado. What is that there for? Uh, looks like a hundred thousand gu 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 guinea pigs. Hundred thousand guinea pigs. The hammer. Is it a hammer? It's green. It looks like a frog. Can't tell your bottom screen is so small. Oh, that. That's like max. Um, fists. fists of wind. Oh, 906 attack. Mmm. Oh, look at the thing I found last time. Mmm. The best bargain is found. <laughs> so here's something good a katana. There's actually a uh, series of katana weapons. They have a unique ability called Faint, which I don't think we've really seen so far. Also, another hidden area. This one I could access. But Faint is like an instant kill for enemies. Of course, you you EI Jitsu them with your Hanzo steel. Like a true samurai. Oh, I thought you passed out and made them feel bad for you. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, down I go. This is a good area to come to. An area with another boss from Factory 3. Hey, what's up, Bone Daddy? This is probably my favorite boss music, I think. Kind of sounds like you should be riding a cutie across the plains. Yeah. It's also the music that plays during the Harvest Festival when you have to defend your turnip. Um, what is happening here? Well, you're knocking off the ancient bone to get at the ancient... Bladder. Ball, I guess? Marrow? I'm repeatedly fighting that guy, because you get multiple types of bones off him. Oh my god, can we ban this filth? I don't want to see you grinding ancient bones. <laughs> well, it's incredibly easy to fight him at this point, anyway. I know, it's pretty easy grinding ancient bones. 
Like two hits. You can't actually damage him until you get rid of the bones. Yeah. And sometimes you get lucky, you I guess that counts as a critical when you knock him over and all the bones scatter. But that was the best item that just dropped out of him. The dragon bones. Ah. Well, if you weren't throwing them every which way, you might get some every time. No, it's just like old school World of Warcraft where you had to collect raptor heads, but the drop rate was something like 30%. <laughs> Oh well, but the real reason to come here, I don't think is actually here though. There's supposed to be a flower at the top of the screen right there, which only shows up here. It's called an Angodaya Lawn. I think it's it's sort of like a car crash of vowels, but if you have that in your inventory and you die, you instantly recover. Nice. So you beat up a bone dragon and took his stash. Took all of his sweet weeds. Man, that's a lot of grass. And then you murdered a snowman. Yep, this is a secret winter area. It's not part of the story, but it is where the winter field and winter lake is. I don't know why. First time I played through the game, I found this roughly around the time the game expects you to. So I was hugely underleveled. This is actually a pretty difficult area. I'm now overleveled, and I have a fire axe, so I'm not in danger at all. Oh. Yeah, I could tell when that snowman hit you for 17. I wanted a flower, burble burble. Well, I went and got a flower. Well, there you go. I want this clump of wet mangy fur. Yes, yes. Burble, burble. Another pretty headband. For our pretty little head. I want another. Or not. Okay. I'll be back tomorrow. Wow, be an asshole all your life. Fucking pond fairy. Takes a while to make those. Give her some slack. Ew. Now, uh, somebody pointed out. Might have once again been Renose, might have been someone else. I uh, apologize if it was someone else. But you can sort of see there's a water path leading off the screen. There's a type of shoe you can make called water shoes or water walking shoes. They allow you to walk on water, and that's how you can get into a secret area. And I think there's one for each of these lily pad areas in the seasonal locations. At least three. For all but one of them, you need water walking shoes to get back there. As you can see, I've been growing a bunch of dungeon seeds. It's sort of the same thing as all the other crops. You can make a giant one, and it will be actually be a tougher dungeon. Oh, <laughs> neat. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. But let's check out the basic one. Very basic stuff you're gonna find here. Including enemies. Are they static or randomly generated? Randomly generated, but not with too many factors. Like, it's just the layout, the enemies, and the items, but they're all pretty weak. And they all look like spring. It's not until you get to, like, floor 10 that it changes to, I think, winter. Winter or fall, but even then, that's like the end of the dungeon, and even then, I think only in the giant dungeon. It's very basic stuff. Sharon's maze is considerably tougher and considerably longer. I like the music, though. No oh, crap. No. You can't find some good stuff down here, but this is a thing you should have unlocked a long time ago. Yeah. 
I love that baseball swing. Because you really needed that stick. Gotta hate that. If you're attacking him while he's teleporting in, he immediately teleports out. Has there ever been a time in video games where that hasn't been obnoxious? And yet they keep doing it. Hello, Red. Goodbye, Red. He's doing nothing to you, you jerk. So long, Brown Jr. I did get a rare drop, though. Each color of fairy has a different colored core. And you need those for some higher-end weapon construction. It's just gonna say, you probably just use a hollow auger bit. But you need the power of magic. Ah, a magic hollow auger bit, then. Crafted it from this fairy skull. Ah, you just... Fists of dark. Just clamp the fairy in the vise, just get in there with your with your hand brace, and just, uh, you know, just, just core it out. It's easy. I could do win too, motherfucker. Sure showed him. Hello, Blue. Is that it? Is that all you got? Apparently. That was it. I think this is the final floor. In just the basic area, there's only four floors. That's short. Yeah. You can tell all the bosses except for the final floor boss are just random, tougher enemies. I think the final boss is always a specific boss enemy. And you can tell which ones they are by the first time you go into the dungeon flower. It will tell you you hear something coming in there. In this case, it was a screeching monkey. Right. There can be some other things. I think they're all bosses from previous Rune Factories. So the boss of this one is an average Twitter user? Oh! Uh, not scrawny enough. Uh. Don't subtweet me. Jerks. <laughs> Don't at me, Keel. <laughs> there he is. Oh. The greater demon. Okay. It's just a gorilla with wings that he doesn't use. Not a gorilla, that is a thing. That's like... What's the thing? That's like a baboon wearing Mr. T's jewelry. There you go, baboon. Yeah, it's more of a baboon. Ah, uh, speaking of sword seed. This is another place to get those. Right. And I presume that grows some sort of pea snip? It grows a sword. Hmm. Did not see that coming. Yeah. Is it raining confetti? It's a festival. Ah. Oh. Good afternoon. See? So there we go, they're pretty basic. Yeah, even her requests have little hearts. Of course. Hugs and kisses, Forte. Sorry guys, I gotta grow a dungeon for my girlfriend. <laughs> I like Volcanon was eating that herb and there's like, Whoa, boy, sorry, what do you want? Oh, wait, one second, he just pulls it back out of his mouth like a hamster. <laughs> like a recipe bread, Doug, are you okay? <laughs> Doug is really excited for Turnip Festival. Drink like three pots of coffee. 
Oh yeah, nobody's gonna beat me this time. I can see through time. Oh, I lose again. Dang. Yeah. Oh. You know, maybe Doug is Californian and Selfians are like Canadians. They just have antifreeze in their blood. My blood is indeed too thick for California. Yeah, if he goes to a warmer climate, it gets all runny and just starts leaking. I just, my blood pressure spikes and I just, I like start panting because Canadians don't sweat. <laughs> Is it bad I'm going blind? I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should be careful not to get hurt, Leon. Hmm. Hey, someone stuffed this turnip full of rocks. <gasps> An exploding turnip. This isn't nearly as hard as the other turnip festival. It's like the eating festival, except you're throwing things at the other people. No, come on. There you go. It's pretty self-explanatory. You don't want to get hit by the failed dishes, because then you just jitter in place for a while. Yeah, that's what happened to Doug. Yeah. Sofia is a ridiculous fucking town. Hello, no, no. My aim tends to be off, is the problem. But also, as soon as, it's like as soon as they pick up the turnips, they throw it, even when they're nowhere near anyone else. Yes, show us your power with the turnips. Show us your turnip power. Your tea nips. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Let's go. So I think the idea is we're just throwing all those in each other's mouths. What? Because how else does a failed dish knock you out? Ah, uh, I couldn't even begin to understand how Peter cooked this up. I'm surprised I did as well as I did. I'm surprised I won. Not even that I got twice as much as anyone else. A little bit of a humble brag. <laughs> People still say that? I don't know. <laughs> I've been out of it for a while. Well, I think, like, when the term came around, it doesn't mean shit. No. Oh. Is that a claymore mine? Oh, no, it's a bow. It's a bow, yeah. Oh, right. Eh, claymore mine. Strangely, the bow also says front towards enemy on it. Here, Porco, I think those look good on you. <laughs> ah, the protein. The free protein. Ah, uh, yes. The free protein. There's no such thing as a free protein, you know this. You got the uh, star-studded cast with you today. Wow, holy yep. crap. And I've brought them along to fight an enemy that only shows up on Fridays. <laughs> it's that giant mushroom, and when you kill them, you get a rare drop. Holy spore. I think that was the last item I was missing for an important weapon for me to craft. And... Hey! And a rare catch. Ah! The tiniest catch. Only on Discovery. <laughs> the travails of very small Alaskan crab fishermen. Just one of those little box crab traps. Right. <laughs> 
thrown off the dock in the back of a Holiday Inn. Rather, I told myself to love fried rice. Sure. What's up, jackass? You're still not a wife! <laughs> well then. You earned it. And we got the shield seed. Wow. So when do we get to grow our own adventurer? That's the end of the LP. It's gonna be something boring like a paladin. Oh, sorry, Yami. I'm glaring. I know that doesn't come through on audio very well, but... Your stony silence spoke volumes. <laughs> Don't worry, man. I'd rather off-tank a paladin than a dark knight any day. Anyway, so, I mean, that was pretty interesting. I'm glad that you beat up that misogynist. Yeah, multiple times. And through turnips at people we don't like. Yeah, that was a little bit of much-needed catharsis. <laughs> well, at Doug, at least. Fucking Doug. Dillis and Clorica, I, I do like. Aww. Dillis, you have to work on it to get him to a point where you do like him, but we're at the point where we're friends with him now, so, like, he's actually nice. He's just kind of an ass. Doug is, like, perpetually a shit. Well, of course he is. That's not the end of winter, but that is the end of this intermission before Act 3 begins. That will begin in Part 34. Hooray! I wonder if we're gonna find some way to bring Ventuswell back. I wonder if that's gonna be the entire reason Act 3 exists. Hooray! <laughs>